Hello and welcome to Mission Maker tutorial number two. Um, today I'm going to show you how to um, use Mission Maker to set a question for your students and for them to answer that question to progress to another room. So first of all I'm going to find a suitable starting room. Um, I'll use our old favourite, the sci-fi cave. I've clicked the room there and that's the starting position. Now, I need a room to progress into so I'm going to look around for a courtyard, city door, that's fine. And I'm going to rotate that round just there to um, enable my player to pass out of the first room and into the second area. Let's um, go and have a look at that. Okay, here we are now, looking around the sci-fi cave, as I like to call it. And you can see there that you can pass through easily into the second area. Let's um, close that second area off so that our players have to actually work to get that door open. So I'm going to select a door, and I'm just going to choose the sci-fi door. And there we have it. That, that room is now closed off. So what I'm going to do is set our users a task. I think we'll use the back wall for this task as well. It's nice and um, straight and visual. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use an active prop, which will be the um, green notice board. Okay, there you have it. I drag that on and rotate it round so that we can see its green side and I want to raise it up a little bit like so okay so now we have a green notice board and a door what we need to do is set an action onto that green notice board but first of all let's set up our media I want the question to appear on the notice board so go to new media and choose pop-up this is the easiest way to do a media pop-up simply because you don't need an external file simply select overlay text and type your question so I'm going to ask how many fives in 25 and I'm going to change the font size to, from 24 to 75 so that it's nice and big and bold Okay, so that's setting up the media. Now I'm going to click on the notice board and give it an action. I'm going to say display media. Now it needs to know which media to display and I'm going to choose pop-up one. Now you can name those pop-ups so that you don't get mixed up, otherwise it's a good idea to keep a paper tally. But I'm going to display pop-up one and now how is it going to be displayed? Well a simple click object clicked so if something is clicked notice board displays pop-up one what could be the something that is clicked well the notice board of course so if notice board is clicked notice board displays pop-up one accept the rule like so and let's test that out we should now be in the room with a notice board and if we go up to it we should be able to click it and it will display the question like so.